I'm Noel Chia. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of alien invasion of our planet. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space. Now we go to a reporter, Sinead, in Wellington, where the alien spacecraft has landed near the House of Parliament. What can you tell us, Sinead? Thank you, Jamie. I am Sinead reporting live from Lambton Quay, where alien invaders are causing chaos, havoc and pandemonium. There is panic and terror in the streets this morning as the people of New Zealand wake up to find alien spacecraft have descended on the capital. There are also reports of alien agents throughout the town cities of New Zealand, where it is unclear if we are actually under attack. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want without hesitation. It seems they will not take no for an answer and humankind will never be the same again. One thing that everybody should know is, is that there are... Sinead, are you there? Sinead, we have appeared to lost our transmission. And now, in an E! News exclusive, an alien representative has taken over our, tel our television studio to issue their demands of the people of Earth. Standing by in our studio is Chloe. Now, Chloe, what's happening there? Doesn't say anything. It doesn't say it. Keep your lines. Well, yes, Taryn, this terrifying alien thing said, give us your studio or else. So we said, okay then, but the atmosphere down here is very tense as we wait on the demands of these super beings which will decide the fate of the human race. What we can tell you is that the, these alien creatures smell really awful, like mixtures of poos and wheeze, and they have terrible manners. Uh, look at... Uh, now look, now it looks like the spokes alien is about to address humanity through a special translation device. People of Earth, please listen carefully. We are the superior beings from the planet, <coughs> from the galaxy of <coughs> demand from you puny humans the following things in no particular order. Number one, we want this studio. Number two, we want the Earth. And number three, we want all humans dead, apart from reporter one. If you do not give us these things as soon as possible, The demands of the alien race upon which our lives depend, are these demands reasonable? It's the end of the human race. Would like to hear your opinion. What does the terrifying event mean to you? Have you had a close encounter with an alien being? What are your thoughts on our immediate um, email at www.emergencyapocalypseaddress all one word dot org. And now the New Zealand government is preparing to issue a statement. Apparently officials are saying that the alien invasion began there in because New Zealand is the first country on the earth to greet the sun each morning and the first to begin each calendar day. The space invaders, it seems, are on a schedule and so the world is watching and waiting to see what happens. The, the way events unfold here in New Zealand will have a big impact on the entire planet. One false move by our government could doom the human race. So w with such pressure on his or her shoulders, the New Zealand Prime Minister is about to, get a greet, or to, about to greet the media. 
On location on the steps of the Beehive and Parliament, reporter Shanae. We go to her now. Shanae, what is the atmosphere like down there? Thanks, Jamie. Well, crowds of people are wandering around, mainly early morning commuters and people coming home from the bars. They seem confused, a bit sleepy. I don't think they know, have any idea what has happened. Aliens have invaded, people. Wake up, be afraid. Wait, I th now think I see the Prime Minister. Yes, here she comes to address the nation. Tēnā koutou katoa. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister. I would like to appeal to each one of you to remain calm. It is, it is extremely important that we make a good impression on these alien beings and display all the friendly, welcoming qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We must each do our best to make these powerful space aliens welcome. We'll be holding an official porphyry later today and I will personally invite the alien leaders to join me on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. By showing off the clean, green, beautiful landscape, we hope that these superior beings will spare New Zealand from destruction and move on to Australia. A government helpline has been set up to give advice on what to do if you encounter one of these alien beings. We think the best thing to do is to hold your breath, smile in a friendly manner, and then run away quickly. This information is also available on the government website. Go to www.alieninvasioninfo, all one word, .govt.nz. Please go about your business as usual. The buses will still run, the rubbish will still be picked up, the economy waits for no one. That is all. Well, there we have it. Thank you, Prime Minister, for those words of wisdom, which are bound to stop people from panicking, looting and rioting. An alien invasion has the potential to unite the world as one, or it could destroy us all. And we have already had some interesting feedback from our viewers who have some pretty strong opinions, most of them against the alien invasion. Billy of Wanganui wrote, We don't want our country to be destroyed. We want peace and harmony. And aliens should not corrupt the peace we have. What good will it come of this? And Mary from Christchurch says, Aliens have no right to demolish our country that we have lived in over 20 years. The aliens have cold hearts to think of doing something like this. So, these hostile aliens are making unreasonable demands on the people of Earth. We have three days to give them what they want or we're all dead. My question is, where to from here? What do we know about these alien beings? Can we afford to ignore them? And where is the safest place for me to go after this news broadcast? We look forward to hearing more of your views on these and other matters. And to help us answer these rather tricky questions, we have a panel of alien experts in the studio to discuss this alien invasion and what you can do at home to do about it. Introducing Wally, a scientist, Joey, who is a virus hacker from the unknown, and Yui, a Japanese alien expert with a certificate in alienology. Can you hear me there? What are we going to do? Well, I think the first thing we all should be doing is catching the alien and taking their skin off so we can frighten the other aliens to leave New Zealand. You two are dim-witted bumpkins and you're wrong. And I will tell you what we should be doing is imparting the virus into their main control area so that they cannot communicate with others. You're wrong. Speak in English. Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. 
in the meantime, let's have a look at uh, Havoc and Mayhem. What is happening oh. up and down the country with Jay? What's, hap what's happening, Jay? Thank you. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. Starting in the far north, there are reports of the alien creatures chasing sheep around the paddocks and downtown Kaitaia has been overrun by the frightened flocks. In Auckland there is a sense of fear and outrage at the aliens' attempts to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. The City Council has asked the public to keep away from the downtown area. A cluster of invaders have been seen swimming in the, mud, in the boiling mud pools of Rotorua and showering under hot gazes. Locals say they are very rude tourists but are unaware of any unusual alien smell. Hawke's Bay's whiners have become the focus of some curious space invaders who have been seen guzzling vats of wine and passing out in the va va vineyards where toxic alien vomit is being condoned of by police. Wellington has become a landing hotspot for the alien invaders. They are using the railway station and the central bus terminal as the transit lounge where they can relax after a long space flight, get used to Earth's atmosphere and refresh themselves in preparation for killing us all. There may be some disruption to train and buses, bus services in the top of the South Island. People in Kaikaroa are appealing to their whale population for support, believing that the sea creatures' size and intelligence could save us all. Little progress has been made so far due to a language barrier in Christchurch. Reports that the city has been flattened by the alien creatures have been confirmed as untrue as the city was flat already and finally in Dunedin several creatures have been spotted at the Spates Bear Factory and the Canterbury Chocolate Factory and the Greggs Coffee Factory. The aliens are said to be extremely unstable and should not be approached. Well, that's all from me. I'm going to go and hide in my basement. So back to the news desk with Jamie and Taryn. How, how are you two going to spend your last days? Thanks, Jay. I'm going to spend my last days with my family. And I'm going to the pub. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates and live reports as they come in. If you would like to keep up with our probable demise on our webcam, just log on to our webpage and click on TV studio forward slash alien evaporation. Goodbye everybody. May these terrifying and strange foul smelling aliens be.